The rules pertaining to determining the losing pitcher are much shorter than that of the rules for the winning pitcher. The definition for the losing pitcher being that he is a pitcher who is responsible for the run that gives the winning team a lead that that winning team does not relinquish. Now a lot of times you'll see that this will be the pitcher who gives up the winning run, which is to say that that's the winning run is if you take the number of runs scored by the losing team and you add one. So if Boston scores five runs and Toronto scores two runs, the winning run would have been Boston's third run. But that's not always the case. So let's look at a quick example. If Toronto's starting pitcher gave up just one run and he pitched six innings, then the score would be one to nothing after the sixth. So after that, Toronto brings in a relief pitcher and he gives up four more runs in the seventh inning. So now it's five to nothing, Boston. And then in the next inning, Toronto scores their two runs. So after eight, it's five to two, uh, Boston winning. In this case, Toronto's starting pitcher would be the losing pitcher, even though he had not given up the winning run, because he had, as the definition states, gave up the run that gave the winning team the lead that they did not relinquish. And that's losing pitchers.